Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and welcome to another video in my series looking at the differences between the Apple iPad Air on the left here and the Microsoft Surface 2. Now in this particular video, I'm gonna be looking at an email application. On the iPad Air, I'm gonna be looking at the standard Apple Mail application. And on the Surface 2, I'm gonna be looking at the modern user interface, the tiled user interface email application rather than Outlook, which is also bundled with this device, but is very, very different indeed. Now, you can obviously choose different applications on the iPad Air, you can download them from the App Store, and I assume that on the Surface 2, there will be other mail applications in the future. So let's start with a look at the iPad version. Now, we're in my inbox here for a particular account. You can set up multiple accounts, and you can choose these by hitting the back arrow here, or you can look at all of them all at the same time. On the Surface 2, we can switch between accounts in the bottom left-hand corner here. Moving back to the iPad Air, we've got a scrollable list of emails that have come into the inbox. And when we select one, as we've selected this one at the top here, we get the actual body of the email on the right-hand panel. Exactly the same on the Surface 2. We select an email, and then when we've selected which one we want to view, we can scroll up and down on the actual message on the right-hand panel. There's a little bit more uh, available to view here purely because we haven't got this panel on the iPad Air. That's not a bad thing or a good thing. This is a, a lot longer view anyway, different aspect ratio screen, so you don't really lose much viewing space on the way they've set this particular one out. Now moving back across to the iPad Air again, we've got various controls for flagging, putting things in folders, replying and composing an email. We can also delete emails by swiping across or we can tap edit and then we can tick multiple emails and perform a task to all of the emails that we select. If we go back onto this one here, onto the Surface 2, you can see already a little box here. So we have one less step to do. We don't have to tap edit first. We can go straight in and put a tick in that one and then we can either tick all of them or we can go down and tick multiple emails again. And then our choices come across the bottom here. So we can manage folders, select, we can move, we can junk, we can flag, mark as unread, delete, or more options. So a, a sort of one less step on the surface too. So I do like that. I appreciate these tick boxes are instantly accessible. Now with regards to replying to an email, let's move back across to the iPad Air and we can tap on reply and we've got a choice of reply, forward or print. Well, for this example, let's just do reply and the on-screen keyboard comes up and we can type away and do our response. And then we can either cancel or send that email. Let's just hit cancel and delete the draft. And then moving back across to the surface too, well, let's have a look at this one. We've got the email highlighted, let's click reply. And again, we can reply reply all, which replies to all of the emails associated in the header, or we can forward it on. So let's click reply again on here. And the email comes up, let's tap into here, and the on-screen keyboard comes up. And again, we can type our email using the on-screen keyboard. Beautiful typing experience using the on-screen keyboard here. We can add attachments, uh, we can add recipients, we can trash it, or we can send the email. So let's trash that reply. And it says here, do we want to delete the draft, similar to what it did on here. And we say yes, delete the draft, and everything goes back to normal. So a very, very usable experience on both. This one on the Surface 2, though, I would say is more business orientated because we've got access to different folders within our email. And I just think it's uh, laid out a little bit nicer. This is still very usable. I'm more than used to this because I've used iPads since the very first iPad was released. Uh, but I do find this a refreshing change. And, and just, I don't know why I come up with this more business orientated design on here. Maybe it's because I'm associating it with Windows. But I hope you've appreciated this look, the differences between the two email applications. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. There's gonna be some more videos in this series, so please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them. And I'll see you all in the next one.